Hello, this is Florian and I want to show you today how you can edit a document with our software PDF Director. For this, I already opened the document and the Edit menu is active. For starters, I want to show you the three main tools you need to navigate in a document and to edit the content of the document. Those three tools can be found here. It is Hand. With the hand tool, you can navigate within a document and can uh, select a text. With the hand editor, you have the possibility to make changes within the document. This is only possible when you made a selection of reconstructable text um, in the first place. I will show you later how you can achieve that. And then you have the tool Select Text. Select Text is possible um, to use when you have a text-based document right from the start. So you can click here and mark the text. And then with the context menu, you can choose the text, the highlighted text, and then you can copy it in your clipboard. From this context menu, it is also possible to highlight the text you have selected before. And you can also set a bookmark so you can find the place you have selected the text later. This works here in the pages sidebar when you click on this symbol. Further information about this feature will follow up in another tutorial. So let's assume you have a PDF file and you want to change the text content or the pictures that are in it. So you have to use the reconstruct feature first. That means you click here and then you choose the reconstructable area. Now a message pops up and this message means that the fonts that are contained in the file um, have been recognized and now you can choose to use those fonts for the changes you want to make in the file. Right here you can see that the application um, successfully recognized this font and it has the font stored on the computer. And if the font is recognized correctly, you can continue here with yes and then you can use automatically the font that has been recognized to make the changes. If the font is not recognized correctly, you click here on no and you have the possibility to search for the font, for example in the internet, or to add it in your font folder on your system. And after you have done that, you execute the reconstruct feature again and then the installed font should be recognized and then you can use it to make your changes. In this case, I click on yes. Now you can see that I am able to choose and to alter the selected text. For example, I can click here and delete this letters here. It is recommended that you only use the area you want to change for the reconstruction tool because if you reconstruct the whole page it's possible that the layout is completely altered when you are trying to make changes on the text. So it's recommend that you only reconstruct the area you want to change after all. If you want to add new content to a document, click here on text area and create with this tool a new frame where you can put in any content you want. For example, the word New York. The way the text should look like can be altered here via this menu. Not only text can be added to a document, you can also add a new picture.
For example, you want to make a picture here over this text. So you click on image, create a frame, right on the position you want to put in the picture. And now you can adjust just as you want it. So the picture fits perfectly to the position you want to achieve. Another reason you want to make an addition to a document could be you want to protect it from unauthorized access. You have two possibilities here in this menu. You can put in a watermark. For this you click here. You can choose one of the templates or you can add one of your own. Click here on confidential. And then this watermark is created right in the middle of the document and it is shown on every page. So anybody who receives this document always sees this confidential on every page and it can't be removed. Another way of protect a document can be to add your own signature. This works right here in this document. Click on sign and then choose the signature you want to add. For example, this one and then and then just click on the frame and put it in the right position to make sure that it is on the right place. A signature can also be created by your own. Click here and then on new and then you have three possibilities. You can make a freehand signature, you can add a text signature or you can add a signature from a picture file you already have stored on your system.